Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new topic that is Ticel. If you haven't watched my previous uh, video, uh, you can click on this link above. Without any further delay, let's get started. So in this video, we are going to discuss on Ticel. So Ticel is a type of standard cell that is used to connect the gate or uh, we can say input of any logic gate to either power or ground network. So this tie cell should be available on standard cell library. So there are two types of tie cells. We say tie high cell uh, to provide high signal to the gate uh, of any logic gate and tie low cell is used to provide low signal to the gate of any logic gate. So first thing we need to understand that why do we need a tie cell? Well, in lower technology nodes, that is uh, like as technology nodes shrink, the gate oxide thickness also needs to be reduced to maintain the performance scaling. So in simple words, I can say that a thinner gate oxide creates a stronger electric field between the gate and the channel and that allows better flow of current through the channel, which is essential for a small transistors. But now we also know that the capacitance of a capacitor is inversely proportional to the thickness of the dielectric material. But in our case, it is the gate oxide. So a thinner gate oxide leads to a higher capacitance and thinner gate oxide also leads to a increase in leakage current. And that would make the transistor more sensitive to small changes in the gate voltage. Now we also know that due to electrostatic discharge, that means uh, when a sudden discharge of static electricity happens, a large current spike is generated that causes a uh, like momentary voltage drop across the power lines. So that would result in a rapid fluctuation in voltage level of a transistor. So later this kind of uh, voltage fluctuation can cause antenna effect or signal integrity issues. So basically like this is, this is the main reason why tie cell is needed like because it will act as a voltage regulator uh, or we can say it will act as a buffer to and it will prevent the large voltage fluctuations from reaching the gate of a transistor otherwise it will cause power or ground bounds. So uh, we will discuss about this power or ground bounds in a separate video but as of now just understand that this power or ground bounds happens due to certain voltage fluctuations. Otherwise we will see a lot of issues. So to protect that only we are using this tie cell which is a standard cell and it acts as a barrier to this voltage fluctuations. Now one thing you need to note is that uh, so this is a difference that I have shown uh, with or without tie cell. So with tie cell means uh, without tie cell means like in generally what people think that okay we can connect this gate terminal means that is the input of a uh, transistor we can directly connect to the VDD or VSS line but it will cause a power bounce or ground bounce due to certain ESD uh, effect. Otherwise uh, uh, like to avoid that situation, uh, to avoid the situation only we are using this tie cell. So this tie cells are added in between this VDD and VSS line and also between this gate oxide like VDD VSS and between this gate oxide of the transistor. So and now you need to understand like this is a very common uh, part of a question that is asked uh, about tie cell that at what stage we add this tie cell. So tie cells are not added in the initial placement stage uh, when we are adding the when we are initially placing the standard cells but they are inserted during the final stage of placement optimization where uh, like a netlist pin is already connected to a constant logic uh, 1 or 0. So it is placed close to the net where it acts as a like interface between the net and the uh, power rails okay. And uh, one more question uh, that is commonly asked here is that like uh, why like how this tie cell is avoiding this voltage fluctuation like like even sometimes if you give an explanation to the interviewer still interviewer will ask you like how tie cell is preventing this uh, VDD uh, like uh, preventing this voltage fluctuation how it is 
not uh, like uh, why we are still not seeing the voltage spike to cause any effect on the output the reason is that like tie cell acts as a I, as i told you previously it acts as a voltage regulator or a buffer so it is designed intentionally in such a way that it has a small internal capacitance that uh, like that effectively smooths out the voltage fluctuation so basically the tie cell absorbs the spike or a fluctuation before it reaches to the gate of a transistor so it maintains a stable voltage level at the input of a logic logic cell so that's how this tie cell doesn't allow any voltage fluctuation to affect its output so i hope you understood till this point now let us further understand individual tie cells like as we already told there are two type of tie cells tie high cells and tie low cells so first we'll discuss about tie high cell well the tie high cell is designed in such a way that we should always get the output as stable high that means our output should always be at logic 1 or we can say it will it will it should always come as high so for that the uh, cell is designed in such a way like if we see here for n mos the for n mos transistor the drain and the gate are shorted together and this con short uh, this short connection is connected to the gate of a p mos transistor so if you see uh, we know that uh, when a drain and a gate of a transistor is shorted that means it will be in a saturation region now we know that uh, these two other conditions for saturation region right vgs should be greater than vt uh, and vds or uh, vds should be greater than vgs minus vt now we can see that for in mos drain and the gate are shorted in this tie high cell condition so once they are shorted means vd is equal to vg that means we are getting and that is connected to the gate input of a pmos so that means we are getting this uh, pmos gate as zero right so when this gate input is zero means obviously pmos will act as a pull up transistor because here nmos is shorted right that means nmos is acting as a pull down transistor and pmos when it is getting input as zero it will act as a pull up transistor and if you see here the drain of pmos is directly connected to the output that means the output is drawn from the drain terminal of pmos that's why we will get a stable output as high so always we will get here output as high whenever we are having this condition where pmos uh, where in nmos the drain and the gate terminal are shorted and it is connected to the input terminal of PMOS. That's how this tie cell work. So in tie, uh, tie high cell, NMOS will be in a saturation region because the drain and the gate are shorted together and it is connected to the PMOS input that is the gate terminal of PMOS. And since we are getting, like since NMOS is acting here as a uh, pull down transistor, so the uh, so this uh, PMOS input will be zero. So when PMOS gets an input as zero, it will automatically act as a pull up transistor and hence the output, output will be the high. So we are getting tie high cell. I hope you got it till here. Next is tie low cell. So it, it is also like similar kind of uh, concept only like tie high cell. So here also what we are doing since we in tie low cell the concept is to get like uh, the output should be low. We want logic zero should be the output always it should be like logic zero. So for that what we are doing we are shorting the drain and the gate terminal of PMOS transistor and we are connecting that to the gate of a NMOS transistor. So again when we are shorting two terminals gate and drain together that means VD is equal to VG that means it is in a saturation region PMOS is in a saturation region and since it acts as a pull up transistor here so we are getting the input for NMOS as 1 and for NMOS when we are getting the input as 1 that means we are getting the output as low that means here NMOS, uh, NMOS is acting as a uh, pull down transistor and PMOS is acting as a pull up transistor and the output we are getting is always low i hope you got till here if you have any issues you can comment down below on the video if you like the information and the concept please do hit like and don't forget to share this with vlsa aspirants and the new freshers 
Thanks for watching this video.